It's an interesting market. For the last two years, we've been talking about significant tailwinds that have been propelling and amplifying our sector. Um, every metric that we monitor on the market is at an, am at an amplified state, whether that's rental growth, yields, vacancy, take up, supply, you name it. Records have been broken consistently over the last two years. Um, since Christmas in particular, we've had a significant amount of headwinds emerge and they feel like they're gathering pace. And so the question now is, do those headwinds nullify some of the tailwinds that we've seen? And if so, for how long? And what are the consequences on our market? At the moment, what we're seeing is still really strong demand from occupiers. We're seeing record levels of take up into the first quarter of 2022. And we're seeing amplified levels of requirements with occupiers still competing for the best space on the market, which is continuing to push rents. Because of the inflationary pressures that we've seen emerge in particular over the last six months, we've seen interest rates start to rise across the world. And that in turn is making the cost of debt higher, which in turn is causing pause for thought on the capital markets side of things. Now, my take on that is, 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 is twofold really, because if we go back to the property fundamentals, we still have a low and falling vacancy rate. We still have issues in the construction supply chain. And that means that we do not expect to see any development-led rise in vacancy, which st should still mean we see rental growth as a result of the supply and demand dynamics in the market. I think it's inevitable that we will see some form of correction on the capital markets side of things, primarily driven by, by the increased cost of debt. But if we look at logistics within the wider property investment universe, all, ish, all sectors are, have their own issues to contend with and how that is impacting occupier demand and the capital markets side of things. From what we can see at the moment, there is still a huge amount of interest and capital targeting the logistics sector. So what that potentially means is we will see a different investor pool emerge, different sources of debt and capital emerge to deploy into a sector which still has fundamentally strong uh, occupational signals.